Whenever we talk about using pesticides, we always encourage that you use proper PPE or proper personal protective equipment. Now it's important to understand that different parts of the body have different absorption rates when it comes to pesticides. For example, if we consider the forearm as a baseline of one, and then we look at other parts of the body, our forehead and scalp are going to be closer to an absorption rate of four, meaning they're four times as absorptive as the forearm. The ear canal, for example, is five and a half times as absorptive as your forearm. And the most absorptive part of your body with regards to pesticides is going to be your groin area. So think about this as you are considering which PPE to use. Now most labels require a minimum of long sleeve shirt, long pants, socks and shoes, and some kind of pesticide resistant glove. Now this does not mean that you couldn't use more PPE. There's other options such as Tyvek suits, chemical resistant aprons, and so on that you can use that can add further protection, especially to protect some of these highly absorptive parts of your body. This is especially important during any kind of mixing activities with pesticides as there is a higher risk of them splashing onto your body. So as you read the label and plan your next pesticide application, ensure that you have the proper PPE available. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching from the ground up.